from Remax with your weekly home update for the Portland metro area with data through the week ending July 21st, including Vancouver, Washington, of course, and the rest of Clark County. Portland metro real estate continues to see significant price reductions as well as a fair number of new listings. What's this doing to our bigger trends? It's time for our quick four-minute walkthrough of the latest in Portland residential real estate. Now, on with the show. The average sales price fell another 1% from the previous week, as is typical for our market. The highest sale price of each year is usually some week in May or June, and then prices typically recede throughout the balance of the year. What is interesting is that for the second week in a row, the average sales price increased by only 1.2% and 1.3% over the same period last year. So, is there a new trend in sales prices? So far in July, we are tracking at 2.7% over yet last year. So 2.7% higher than last year's average sales prices, but this is due to some strong numbers at the beginning of the month. What's going on with supply? Well, supply is increasing, which is fairly typical for this time of year. People go on vacation and things sell slower. You can see that there were fewer homes on the market than the previous week. Nonetheless, for the second week in a row, we outpaced last year's new listings by more than 100, so there is something to keep an eye on. Price reductions have decreased from last week's record high, but they remain significantly higher than what we saw in the weeks leading up to the 4th of July holiday weekend. Again, this could be a new trend, but I would like to see another week or two of numbers in this range before jumping to any conclusions. Demand was up from the previous week. The number of purchase contracts written by buyers and accepted by sellers recovered from the previous week's low and even landed a hair above the number we saw last year at this time. Someone inquired about our market's inventory in months last week. What is that? That is a single figure that represents both supply and demand. Given no new listings, how long would it take to sell all the homes currently on the active market at the current rate of selling? In our sample for the full Portland metro area, which of course includes Southwest Washington, that number is about two two and a half months. Traditionally, six months of inventory is considered to be a balanced market, neither a buyer's nor a seller's advantage. Recently, however, I have been seeing analysts move that balance point down to as low as four months of inventory, stating that four months is that balance point. So at two and a half months of inventory, this is considered a seller's market still, seller's advantage, and it still hasn't felt like it that much this year. To me, it feels more like a balanced market in which both buyers and sellers must contribute. It is just a really strange market that we've got right now. The rate locking of people refusing to put their houses on the market because their mortgage rates were so low has really got things messed up. Mortgage rates have remained relatively stable, hovering around the best case scenario of 6.5% for a 30-year fixed loan. Most lenders are bouncing around the 7% mark. We are waiting for a big inflation report on Friday, which is the favored metric of the Fed board. If there's a good inflation report, that could help push rates down a little bit. And if it comes in hotter than expected, we could see the market's 97% likelihood, the market's expectation of a rate cut in September, start to erode. Looking forward to what's on the horizon, the Fed board is meeting Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, and the expectation is that they're going to hold rates right where they are, but still possibly cut rates at their next meeting in September. So if you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to call me at 503 603- 683-1885 or send an email to lauren at pdxhomesforsale.com and please subscribe to our newsletter and our YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss any updates and feel free to share this newsletter or the video with anyone who may be concerned about the real estate market. Have a great week and I will see you right here next week.